hello beautiful people wonderful people welcome back to my channel i'm called for today and this is just with coffee if you're stumbling upon this channel for the very first time you're highly welcome please don't make it your last do also hit that subscribe button and the post notification bell in that way you always get notified anytime i post a new video welcome back to yet another video guys this video has been long overdue i actually wanted to talk about this video a couple of weeks back if not up to a month but i have actually been very busy trust me i have not had time to sit down to make a video so today luckily for me i had a little time and i decided that this video must be made today so yeah stay tuned and yeah let's right into the video <laughs> today's video i actually stumbled upon this post um, a couple of weeks back as i've said initially and i thought it's right to talk about this just to air out my own view and opinion on this particular topic or subject matter so yeah i'm just going to be reading out the post for you as it was before i get down into saying what i have to say about it so I actually stumbled on this post let me just be reading it out i stumbled upon this post from potacot hot gist and it reads I have suffered in the hands of women since my childhood. Even my mom wasn't a very good wife to my dad. After maltreating him, he left. Then I was just six years old. Leaving us to suffer, my dad advised me never to trust women. They will make you suffer. What an advice. <laughs> Even in my high school days, the first girl I fell in love with betrayed me just because i could not afford to take her to the cinema and to buy her lunch i have married and divorced twice those women were not good to me either so i decided to marry my fellow man my best friend who we are so much in love now i am living my best life i am happy <laughs> wow so I saw this post and a picture that I'm just going to leave on the screen of um, these two guys that got married, that's gay now, gay marriage that we all know about. So these two young men decided that they want to get married to themselves. So this actually captivated me to talk about this. And I have a couple of things I want to talk about. I actually jotted down what i have to say so that i will not forget because this video as i said earlier has been long overdue so i actually jotted down things i would love to talk about so first of all in this video i am going to be talking about why do people get married because i actually feel because people don't really you know if you don't know a reason or a purpose for a particular thing you tend to abuse that thing or misuse that thing so first of all let's actually know the purpose for marriage why do people marry why is marriage necessary why is marriage a thing why should people marry some of us now in our own society now if i ask now why do you want to marry what's the reason why you want to get married we hear some people say i want to marry because i want to be happy really but happiness is a byproduct of a healthy marriage not a reason to get married if you ask me from my own opinion if we go back to the bible obviously i like using bible because i'm a christian i believe in the bible i believe in god so i always refer to the bible as my backbone or as my foundation so if we actually look at genesis chapter 2 verse 18 you notice there that the bible after creating adam and other beasts and fowls and animals god now looked at it and was like it is not good for man to be alone. I will make for him and help meet for him. And thereafter, if you read down, you hear the Bible talking about God caused a deep sleep to fall on Adam. And then he removed his rib and made for him Eve, a woman. And then when Adam woke up, Adam gave her the name Eve. And he was like, this is the bone of my bone. This is the flesh of my flesh. And she shall be called woman. So if we're actually referring to that place, we we'll actually know that one of the reasons why people marry is for them not to be alone, for them to have helpers, for them to have help meet. That's one of the reasons. 
Another reason why God ordained marriage was actually for reproduction purposes, for recreation. You know, the Bible also rightly say, go ye into the world, be fruitful and multiply. It's not like it was hard for God to have created everybody. Of course, he created Adam and Eve, so he would have equally created every other person. But he left that responsibility for us to be able to recreate, to be able to reproduce our kind. So God actually told us, go ye into the world and be fruitful and multiply. So the primary purpose too of marriage is to reproduce and if you're reproducing a man and a man cannot reproduce a female and a female cannot reproduce it has to be a man and a woman so yeah i haven't put this out there the reason some of the reasons this is not all the reasons why people marry but some of the important reasons why people marry to have companionship to have friendship to fulfill the purpose of god by reproducing its kind so that is one of the primary purposes of marriage. So I haven't put that aside. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you my own opinion on these gay marriages and this whole homosexual thing as a whole. So if you ask me my opinion, I totally debunk the fact that this kind of a thing should be in existence because it's beginning to look as if we humans, we are trying to tell God that he doesn't know what he was doing. From the foundation of the earth, God created man and a woman. That was the marriage that God ordained. God never ordained a man and a man. And he never ordained a girl and a girl. Or a woman and a woman. God did not do that. He ordained a man and a woman. Even in science, you will know that positive and positive can never attract. Negative and negative can never attract. It has to be positive and negative to be able to attract. This is just a basic law in science. And... Human beings have made it at the point of duty to go down to the level that they just want it to be that God did not know what he was doing. And it's very sad. It has gotten up to the point that people proudly come out to say you got married to your fellow man and you are happy with him and you are this. You No, I am just going to go ahead and say this and um, see my mind the way I feel. You know, in the Bible, if we want to go back to the Bible, in Matthew chapter 19, from verse 5, you hear when the Bible was saying, haven't you read that he that made them in the beginning made them a man and a woman? For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother and be cleaved to his wife. He said a man and a woman. He did not say a man and a man, and he did not say a woman and a woman. So why is it that in our generation, we just want to turn everything upside down? We want to turn creation upside down. We want to turn... Things that God created for our own benefit upside down. I know some people might come at me in this video and be like, it's none of your business. You're being judgmental. Um, it's their happiness. You know, that's one of the things we say nowadays. We capitalize everything on. It's the person's happiness. Allow them to do what they like. It's what makes them happy. I'm not surprised. This is what a lot of us in this, our generation, always have to say. It's their happiness. It's their way of life. I think I've said this in one of my videos. I was saying, if somebody, if somebody's happiness is to kill you, we should allow the person to kill you because it's the person's happiness. Of course, the person should kill you. It's the person's happiness. It's what makes the person happy. See, when we see something that is wrong, let's come out and say it's wrong. Let's not be saying it's their happiness. What if this person's happiness is at the expense of another person's happiness? At the expense of another person's joy? So we should allow the person to do it because it's the person's happiness. So we've seen that in this our generation, a lot of persons just come out and carelessly just do things. People are even proud now. You'll be seeing some YouTube channel, I'm so 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 the lesbian, I'm so 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 the lesbian. They are so proud to tell you that they are lesbians. They are so proud to tell you that they are homosexuals. This is the same thing that caused God's anger to fall on Sodom and Gomorrah. But we see that people in our generation are practicing it. They are practicing it with their full chest. You see, even if you want to talk about animals, in my little age or in my little years I've spent on this earth, I have never seen a male goat chasing after a male goat. I have never seen it. I have never seen a cock running after a fellow cock. I have not seen it. Even animals obey God's instruction. It's always he goat versus female goat and it's always cock versus um, hen it's always like that the female animal versus the male animal the male animal versus the female it has never been the same sex 
in this little days I've spent on earth, I have never seen it. But human beings have reduced themselves lower than animals. So at this point, if I comfortably say that some human beings reason lower than an animal, I think I'm not wrong. Because even animals don't do what some humans that have senses and have brains are doing. Why on earth will you go after a fellow man or a fellow woman? Okay, in that marriage now, what do you intend to achieve in that marriage? Are you going to fulfill God's purpose about reproduction that I talked about in the beginning of this video? Obviously, you are not going to reproduce. You, you're going to end up adopting or you're going to end up going to go and do another thing that you want to just change everything. Maybe you just go ahead now and scientifically just change everything in your body that God has already created so that you will still be that you are going left when God is going right. Honestly, and another thing I'm going to be pointing out in this video is the aspect of the parent. Parenting is a very serious responsibility. If you're not ready to be a parent, don't bring up a child. Don't bring a child into this world and let the child just wonder, am I he or his or her future? And just does not achieve the purpose that God has created that child for because of you, the parent. If you can, if you can go back to the story I was talking about, you hear when the, the guy was saying that the mother left the father when she, he was just barely six years and then the the father has been suffering and this one, the mother abandoned the father, the father even had to call him and advise him that women are not to be trusted, that he should never trust a woman. If you ask me, if you call that woman, that woman has her own side of the story. It's not she did not see roses in that marriage and she left the husband. It's not that if the, if the woman also tells you her own version of the story, you will know that the man also did something that warranted her leaving the marriage. And you as the man also calling your son to advise your son this kind of advice. Are you really a good father? So parenting also matters. So at the tender age of this boy, he has already concluded that women are not to be trusted. That was why when he was in school, he didn't trust the lady he said he fell in love with. And he didn't actually, he, he got married twice and divorced the ladies because of the mentality he grew up with. It doesn't really mean whatever, but he already had this mindset that women are not to be trusted. So he already grew up with that mentality. So there is nothing really you're going to do to change that mentality. He just had to live with it, that women are not trusted. So all his dealings with women were never working for him because of his upbringing, because of his parental upbringing. So as parents, you guys need to really be careful. If you know you're not ready to bring up a child, don't bring that child up. And some people will tell you, I'm getting married because of happiness. I want to be happy. That's why I'm getting married. If you're getting married to be happy, that's that's a wrong reason to get married. Because if you get married to fulfill all what God has, all the promises God has made for you, or the, the reasons why God wants you to go into marriage, if you follow those reasons that God wants you to go into marriage, definitely you have a happy home. So all these reasons why God created marriage is what will give you a happy marriage. So if you're saying uh, you have not been happy ever since in your life, and they get better, you have not been happy, but you want when you want to get married, you'll be happy. That's a very wrong reason to go into marriage. In the next point I'm going to be talking about is all the people that attend this wedding. Because if you see from the pictures, you will see that there were persons in this wedding. They were all happy, all smiley, all congratulating, and all of that. They were just happy that these couples were getting married. You're happy going there to see a man and a man getting married. Why is it that we don't? We don't stand against some things. All the spectators that went there and were all happy and they gave you food and you ate and you were happy that you went for a marriage of a man and a man. If you stood your ground and said this thing is not right, it's not good, it's not this, you will help some people. When they think about the embarrassment, as people will kick against this thing, they will not do it. But when they know that they have your back, you're smiling, you are eating their food, you're happy that a man and a man is getting married or a woman and a woman is getting married, you're obviously promoting it. And the parents of these couples do mean that they don't have parents. You see your child marrying his kind, a, a man and a man and a woman and a woman, and you are happy. You're collecting, are you really collecting bride price? And you as a priest that you are wedding them, what are you preaching? Because this thing is obviously in a church, it's not in a shrine. They did this wedding in a church, it's not a shrine. There is an officiating minister, and you're joining same sex in marriage. What are you going to go and answer God? So persons will come out and be like, you're being judgmental. I'm not judging anybody. 
who am I to judge you? What do you know about judgment? I'm just being plain. This is one of the things that made God's anger to fall on Sodom and Gomorrah. And this is what we are practicing in our days. It's now being legalized. It's now being done openly, no longer in the secret. People are wedding same sex. So this is why I came out to make this video. Please, if you're doing this thing, just stop it. And you'll see a lot of them coming out here on social media, coming out on, on YouTube and publicly promoting it. And people are following them. People are liking their pages. People are congratulating them. See, let's stop it. Let's stop it. God doesn't like it. Honestly, God doesn't like it. We need to stop it. So I'm not going to make this video longer than this. This is just what I came out to say. Let's be guided. Let's 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 try and change our mindset about this kind of things. And yeah, this is where I'm going to be drawing the curtain for this particular video. Do well to give it a massive thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Turn on post notification bell. In that way, you always get notified anytime I post a new video. See you guys on the next one for now. Bye.